Want to level up your CZP-10F? In this video, we'll show you how to install an optic that takes your aim to the next level. First, we'll need to replace the existing optic cover plate with this new optic plate. I just ordered it from the CZ Parts website. CZ Parts is the top source for all things CZ, with a huge selection for every enthusiast. Their customer service was excellent, friendly, knowledgeable, and super helpful in finding the perfect part. As usual, I'll be using Fix-It Sticks tools in this video. They're solid, high quality, and my go-to choice, along with the 15-in-pound torque and the T10 bit. Apologies for the background noise, it's a busy day on the road, and the heavy rain outside isn't helping. This is the VC3 thread locker I use. It dries fast and lets me readjust screws multiple times before reapplying. The optic I'm using is the Holosun 507 Comp. I've used it on other competition guns, and it works great, plus, it costs less than the SRO. First things first, let's remove the slide from the frame. It's the same as disassembling a Glock. Next, we'll remove the guide rod and barrel. Let's install the T10 bit into the T-handle to remove the two screws on the plate cover. With the Fix-It Sticks T-handle, it makes removing the screws much easier. As you can see, there's quite a bit of oil on the surface since this is a new gun. We'll need to use an alcohol wipe to clean it off. I also like to use a Q-tip to clean the threaded hole, ensuring there's no debris inside that could cause issues. Once the slide is clean, I like to wipe down the optic plate as well. A little extra cleaning now is better than dealing with debris later and having to redo everything. But it's up to you. Now that I'm happy with the cleaning, it's time to install the optic. The plate has a cross pattern on the bottom that lines up perfectly with the slide. Always do a fit check and make sure there are no gaps or issues before securing it. Use the screws provided with the plate and apply a small drop of thread locker to each screw before securing the plate to the slide. To tighten the screws and secure the plate to the slide, we'll use 15 in pound of torque. This ensures the correct tightness, preventing over tightening or under tightening. It's important because damaging the screws could cause your optic to come loose over time. Once the plate is secured, it's time to install the optic. Simply align the two grooves on the optic with the plate, then use the screws provided with the optic to secure it down. The screws already have Loctite applied, so there's no need to add more. Final check for gaps before reassembling the slide. Is it simple enough to do yourself? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Now, let's reinstall the barrel and guide rod. In the last step, reinstall the slide onto the frame, then perform a functional check to ensure everything works as it should. Once verified, the next step is hitting the range to zero in the optic. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content in the future. Your support helps us support the Second Amendment.